Hey, my name is Gesha and this video serves the purpose to explain why I'm taking videos of myself. I committed to taking 10 videos over the course of 10 weeks to hold myself accountable and I'm taking videos because I want to vlog and taking videos is so much faster. I, in terms of format, they're all sound bites. I decided now, five minutes as much as I can jam into five minutes. It will definitely not be all inclusive. It definitely won't have all the answers and a lot of it will not resonate with you and hopefully some will. <laughs> and another big reason I'm taking videos is because it feels really weird and it's uncomfortable. The biggest learning lessons come when we are uncomfortable. And I think the key here is to make the uncomfortable comfortable. Why? So in this case, I identified video blogging as something that I really want to do. So if I keep feeling uncomfortable about it, which seems like a contradiction in the first place, I'm going to stop doing it, right? And in order to get comfortable, the key to all of that is understanding, which is in my, I equal that with rational thinking. So the moment we are scared, we fear something or we feel uncomfortable, kind of all the same thing, realizing that that's happening and trying to understand why. Emotions are surprisingly rational. Because the moment we understand why we're feeling that way, then we can change our behavior or our way of thinking. An example, I went on a journey a few months ago to get really comfortable with public speaking. It was a very uncomfortable journey, but I was trying to understand why I was feeling that way. And I realized it was me. <laughs> And I was driving myself crazy, trying to perfect something that wasn't perfectable. And if you think about even what is a good speech, a good speech isn't a perfect speech. A perfect speech is probably a pretty bad speech. So it's perfecting something that wasn't perfectable and for that reason wasn't doing a good job. Um, I also noticed something very practical. If you look around when someone else is giving a speech, actually try that as an example as in a good exercise. People look really bored when they listen to other people speaking. And when I noticed that, I realized I had oftentimes gotten really nervous when I got on stage and everyone else looked really bored. But now I just know that that's normal and then I expect that. And rather than trying to perfect it, I just focus on really feeling grounded, feeling a connection, embracing the audience. And that has really given me a difference for my public speaking, I'm comfortable. It still takes a little bit of effort. I have to remind myself of those things, but now I understand what I'm doing and that's why I can change the way I think about it, right? And, and do certain activities that help me get more comfortable right before the speech. So in one end, by understanding, we can make what's uncomfortable comfortable and do more of what we actually want to do. But sometimes the answer is that we might not want to do what feels uncomfortable, that our gut it all comes down to the gut. We feel uncomfortable because our gut is telling us something. But sometimes we want to stop doing what's uncomfortable. I used to go to a lot of events, social events, networking events, and was feeling uncomfortable, and I stopped going. But the key here actually was, in this story, was I realized I was uncomfortable saying no, no to myself and no to opportunities. So I got, I made saying no much more comfortable and got myself out of another uncomfortable situation. So there are many different ways to slice and dice it. But the key here is to not, not do something because it's uncomfortable and to make it comfortable by understanding. The key word is trying to understand, understand emotions, understand why we feel a certain way. We have, there's usually, there always is a reason. I hope you do more uncomfortable things and Enjoy the journey.